Down now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about anything. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. It sucked. That's what Tyler Sagan of the Dallas Stars said after living in the NHL's bubble last summer. Sagan would know Stars were in that bubble for a long time, lost in the cup final. And as necessary as it was, in order to hand out Lord Stanley, anyone who lived in the strict confines of Toronto and Edmonton left with one clear feeling. It sucked. It's not easy. Sagan went on to say, quote, there's nothing positive you're really going to take from bubble life, end quote. Well, get your popcorn ready. The bubble might be back for some. Sportsnet's Elliot Friedman over the weekend reported that if the COVID situation continues to deteriorate in this country, the four Canadian playoff teams might have their own bubble in the United States. No word yet if other American teams who are mostly vaccinated, by the way, would have to do the same thing. Look, I, I feel for players that don't want to do that again. But if they want to win the cup, this is the road they might have to travel. Hate to burst your bubble, Canadian hockey fans, but the bubble might be the only thing you got left to save your season. Jeff Merrick of Sportsnet joining us on the line this morning. Uh, the house coat is sublime. Thank you. Uh, you it's are my, my, my old Bob Hunter from uh, BT years ago <laughs> tribute when he used to read newspapers. Some awesome. saw staff there. My yeah, staff I, yeah I got, you got a reaction when you brought it up. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, uh, Jeff, two things, because I want to get to the yeah. Leafs Canucks quickly before we, we let you sure. wrap. The bubble and Canadian team, should fans, players, executives, coaches, everyone start to wrap their head around it? 100%. And you're right. Like, players don't want it. Owners don't want it. The NHL doesn't want to do this. The players absolutely hated it. They want no part of it. Again, we had players like Matt Niskanen of the Philadelphia Flyers walk away from his career after the bubble was done and say, I'm finished playing hockey right now. But given, to your point, the COVID situation in, uh, in this country, specifically in a couple of places, most notably Ontario, um, it may just have to be a reality. There are always whispers that Toronto might have to play its playoff games in Buffalo, but uh, the, ter thing, the thing that terrifies the NHL right now is what if you have a Vancouver Canucks situation in the playoffs with yeah. one of your Canadian teams? What does that mean? So get your mind wrapped around it. Absolutely. I'm not sure if it'll happen, but they're talking about it big time. Soon. Oh, they have to. Uh, uh, Jeffy, 100%. absolutely happy. Uh, before we let you go again, what a game and a result last <laughs> night in Vancouver. Canucks hadn't played since March 24th. We're going to talk yeah. about it a couple of times this morning due to COVID. Canucks, what's the more prevalent opinion for you right now, Jeff, uh, the morning after? Happiness for the Canucks, considering what they've been through, or yeah. genuine concern for the Leafs? <laughs> no, this is happiness for the Canucks. Like, honestly, part, Leaf fans out there right now, by the way, as Frankie just showed you and you and Mel had that great shot, the sun came up this morning. It's okay. <laughs> don't worry, of, don't worry it about it. This is a Vancouver Canucks story. The goaltender was fantastic. Timely story. It was a captain that iced it in the, uh, in the overtime. This is the best hockey story going today, given what Vancouver has been through. The focus should be on the Canucks. You can fret about the Maple Leafs as we do every single day starting tomorrow. Last night and today is all about the Vancouver Canucks. That was a tremendous performance. The Nature Boy, Jeff Merrick from Sportsnet, <laughs> joining us live this morning. Appreciate you, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, Deuce. You be well. You too. You too. Uh, more hockey coming up a little bit later, by the way. We're not done with that Canucks story. After the break, though, the story we've all been talking about here in Ontario this weekend, beginning Friday, really, and it took a turn. Do you trust the Ford government right now? 1-866-267-3797. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. Twitter 24-7 at Breakfast TV. It is 643. Good morning, Toronto. You're